Let's get uh, the latest from Rugby World Cup Pool C, where Fiji were in action against Georgia. I believe this one has actually now just finished. 17-12 uh, was the score. Fiji, remember, needed a bonus point if they were to eliminate Australia from being able to make the quarterfinals. They needed a win themselves uh, to be with a, within a chance of joining Wales in the quarterfinals. They now will need to beat Portugal to qualify. Argentina set up a winner-takes-all decider against Japan in Pool D after beating Chile. It was the first match between the two South American nations at the World Cup. Argentina scored eight tries in a 59-5 victory, with Juan Martín González scoring twice. Nicolas Sánchez marked his 100th cap with 23 points. Argentina sits second, five points behind England, but ahead of Japan on points difference. Now to a major boost for France and the Rugby World Cup. French captain Antoine Dupont has been cleared to return to action after an operation on his fractured cheekbone. Dupont suffered the injury during a 96-0 win over Namibia and there were fears the World Player of the Year would miss the rest of the tournament. France face Italy next, knowing a win will secure Pool A. Scotland need a bonus point win over Romania tonight to set up a chance to somehow get out of Group B. A five-point win in Lille would leave them just four points behind the leaders, Ireland, with the nation's meeting next Saturday. It's important for us to do the things we do want to do well to, to, be, to be good on them for, for 80 minutes. Romania has always been a team that tough up front. They, they're physical. They like the wrestling part of the game, and that's you know that's where things starts for us in the, in the pack. So we need to be strong on those points, and then continue to do them well, uh, not have any softer moments, and make sure that we stay on top of our process throughout the game. Given that it's a game that Scotland will be expected to win and, and win well, is complacency the biggest danger here for Scotland? Yeah, we've not thought of that. We, we we'd like to we'd like to do the things that we concentrate on 100% for, for 80 minutes. And um, a lot of the boys starting this weekend have not had starts yet, and they, uh, they're all very excited to get going. And I think, you know, starting in a World Cup is, is such a special moment. We've been training for, for months and months on end. Now guys like Chavin is really chomping at the bit to go and show uh, and, and get, get tries going with all respect for the Armenian team as well. As I said, we'll be, we'll be strong and tough up front, but... You know, we, we, we want to have that pleasure of, of scoring tries whilst respecting the opposition. Well, New Zealand will be watching Scotland's game with interest after they produced the dominant performance of the competition last night, crushing Italy 96 points to 17. We should be really impressed. Um, yeah, there's always things you can be better at, and uh, you can't take anything away from Italy. Although we, you know, scored well, they're a great attacking side, and um, we had to do a lot of work to nullify what they can do. So, um, yeah, we can be proud of what we what we've done tonight. We've just got to take it one step at a time, one day at a time, and uh, we can't get ahead of ourselves. And like I said, just excited to be in the All Blacks, be at a World Cup, and. We're, we're, we've got a good mix at the moment, a balance of working hard and connecting and, um, you know, just yeah, enjoying the moment. We have to stick together, we have to get together and, you know, push as a 33 players because we need everyone to get, in, to get the effort in, to get the, uh, the, the real commitment to, the, to what we want to achieve. Because obviously, first of all, we want to focus on our, on our performance. Because I think in the few day, in the last few days, we we focused a little bit on, you know, trying to win this game instead of putting the best performance we can outside. And that's obviously a, a good point uh, where we can where we can improve and where we can you know learn. We saw the win marking a special night for Sam Whitelock. He came on for his 149th Test cap, overtaking All Blacks legendary captain Richie McCaw as their record appearance maker. It hasn't sunk in yet, and like, I don't think it ever will. Um, I still find it weird walking down the street and people want to stop and have a yarn about rugby and this and that, or you know, talk about different games. Because um, I just still see myself as the, the country kid that you know, just love love the game of rugby, and um, that's that's the way I always see it. And um, oh, my lovely family would tell me if I was getting ahead of myself too. So it probably keeps me pretty well grand, grounded. 